Welcome to the Backgammon Christmas Calendar. 24 points of Christmas. The 23 points by Grandmaster Mark Olsen. What's up Backgammon fans? Today is the 23rd of December. Christmas is getting so close. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the 23 point. Sitting here in front of the beautiful void board with my favorite checker color combination. And we're talking about the 23 point, which is of course this point right over here. This is your home board, this is my home board, this is your 23 point. The 23 point is probably the least popular point on the board. And uh, for good reasons, because in the opening position, you're actually better off having your checkers on the 24 point than on the 23 point. Because on the 23 point, you're getting primed a little bit. You're in the range of my eight point. So it's actually better here, because now you have sixes to play on your side of the board. If, if you had this point, the 23 point, where are you gonna play your sixes? Now you have to leave shots over here and play your sixes there. So it's nice to have the checkers down all the way back here on the 24 point, and it's not so nice to have your checkers on the 23 point early in the game. Later in the game, it's a different story. We'll get back to that. But early in the game, we don't really like the 23 point. And uh, when you roll an ace like this, you split with an ace, Typically, the next ace you roll, you, you shouldn't play this one. It's not really necessary. Unless you're facing a blitz formation, because if your opponent has a lot of ammunition and already has point, points made, something like this, now I have 10 men in the zone. Now it's a little bit scary to be split with a back check. If you roll an ace, now you want to check the 23 point. But that's kind of a different story, because now you're anchoring up because you don't want to get blitz attacked. It's not so much that it's a good anchor in itself. You're still getting primed here. And one of the key principles of checker play is freedom. Freedom with the back checkers. And on the 23 point, you have a very low degree. You have no freedom basically because you're getting trapped. You're getting primed and you can't move your back checkers. That's not desirable. We like freedom. We want to come up and make an advanced anchor or we want to liberate our back checkers. So from the 23 point, it's a little bit difficult. Okay, fast forward through the middle game. Uh, or we're now in the middle game. When do you want the 23 point anchor? When you're facing a blitz formation. For instance, if your opponent has the, uh, his ace point made, now the 23 point anchor is awesome. Because now it's actually the best anchor. Because now you're making the contact zone as big as possible. And look at all these gaps your opponent has in his structure, in my structure, all these gaps, I, I, I'm gonna be in trouble here because if you had the anchor on the 20 point, I could just play safe by dumping checkers behind it. But if you have the 23 point anchor in this scenario, I'm in trouble because of all these gaps. I'm gonna leave shots most likely. So this is a time when it's good to have the 23 point. Hey guys, remember to download and play on the Backgammon Galaxy app. Fast forward again, now we're in the later stage of the game. I have full freedom, something like this. You build some inner board points as well over here. Maybe you have the five points slotted. This is the position. It's a holding game. I have full freedom, which is the definition. I need to get full freedom before it's a holding game. And you're sitting on an anchor, and holding my checkers, playing the waiting game or whatever you want to call it. Historically speaking, we used to call it the holding game. And this is, uh, to be more specifically, this is the 23 point holding game. The 23 point holding game is actually not that bad. <laughs> it's a whole lot better than the 24 point holding game. Let me say it like that. Uh, it's actually not that bad. It's better than you think. You, that's, uh, that's actually a quote. I don't remember who, who told me this quote, but the 23 point anger is actually better than you think. And uh, when, when it comes to cube actions, we've talked a lot about the cube actions from the other anchors here, the 22, the 21, the 20, the 18th point. And we had some simple rules when it came to cube actions. And I have a pretty simple rule here from the 23 point anchor holding games as well. It's basically always a take 
as long as there are two gaps in your enemy's front position structure and as long as you haven't crunched your home board. So for instance, in this position, this would be a clear take because here there's, there are actually three gaps. One gap here, one gap here, and one gap out here. Look, the gap on the nine point is not a gap because it's not part of my six prime front position structure. So I don't count this as a gap. I only count this, this, and this as gaps. These are gaps because it's part of my prime structure. As long as there are two gaps, it's a take. Here there are three gaps, so it's an easy take. It's probably not even a double yet. Blue, or me, I probably have to do some, some sort of uh, improvement here. Let's say I roll a 6-2, for instance. I make this point, and you roll a 6-2, and you make this one. Now it's a double, but it's still a take because there are two gaps. As long as there are two gaps, it's a take from the deuce point, or the 23-point angle. Simple rules, two gaps or more, it's a take. If we're down to one gap, no good, no good. This is a pass. This is a big pass, actually. You, you cannot take from the 23-point anchor if your opponent has a pure structure in front of you and there's only one gap in the structure. It's too much. This is just too much. It doesn't matter what the pip count is because if, even if I'm not ahead in the race, I'm just going to win by priming. If I am ahead in the race, I'm just going to win by racing because I'm not leaving many shots here. My structure is too pure and too strong. It's too easy for me to bring my checkers home. So when you're, when you're sitting on the 23-point anchor and your opponent only has one gap in the structure, that's when you have to drop. Now it's too much. This is a pass. Two gaps in the structure, take. Pretty simple rule, right? And it works basically all, always <laughs> this rule. It's a very, very powerful rule. And uh, the same is true from the 22 point. The 22 point and the 23 point, if there are two gaps in the structure, always take. So one day to go for Christmas Eve. We hope you enjoyed this video about the 23 point and uh, we'll see you tomorrow on what hopefully will be a fantastic Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, backgammon fans! <laughs>